Jacobus Henricus Van Tehoff Jr. was a Translation appeared in 1877, at a time when the only job Van T. Hoff could find was at the veterinary school in Utrecht. In these early years his theory was largely ignored by the scientific community, and was sharply criticized by one prominent chemist, Herman Colby. However, by about 1880 support for Van T. Hoff's theory by such important chemists as Johannes Wislicenus and Victor Meyer brought recognition. In 1884, Van T. Hoff published his research on chemical kinetics, titled Etudes de Dynamique Chimique, in which he described a new method for determining the order of a reaction using graphics and applied the laws of thermodynamics to chemical equilibria. He also introduced the modern concept of chemical affinity. In 1886, he showed a similarity between the behavior of dilute solutions and gases. In 1887, he and German chemist Wilhelm Ostwald founded an influential scientific magazine named Zeitschrift für Physikalische Chemie. He worked on Svante Arrhenius's theory of the dissociation of electrolytes and in 1889 provided physical justification for the Arrhenius equation. In 1896, he became a professor at the Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin. His studies of the salt deposits at Stussfurt were an important contribution to Prussia's chemical industry. Van Tehoff became a lecturer in chemistry and physics at the Veterinary College in Utrecht. He then worked as a professor of chemistry, mineralogy, and geology at the University of Amsterdam for almost 18 years before eventually becoming the chairman of the chemistry department. In 1896, Van Tehoff moved to Germany, where he finished his career at the University of Berlin in 1911. In 1901, he received the first Nobel Prize in chemistry for his work with solutions. His work showed that very dilute solutions follow mathematical laws that closely resemble the laws describing the behavior of gases. In 1885, Van Tehoff was appointed as a member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Other distinctions include honorary doctorates from Harvard and Yale, Victoria University, the University of Manchester, and University of Heidelberg. He was awarded the Davy Medal of the Royal Society in, and elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1897. He was awarded the Helmholtz Medal of the Prussian Academy of Sciences, and appointed Knight of the French Legion of Honor and Senator in the Kaiser Wilhelm Gesellschaft. Van Tehoff became an honorary member of the British Chemical Society in London, the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, American Chemical Society, the Académie des Sciences in Paris, and the Netherlands Chemical Society. Of his numerous distinctions, Van Tehoff regarded winning the first Nobel Prize in Chemistry as the culmination of his career.